A. First of all, this is an important announcement for anyone who has made prior arrangements to write their exam in an alternate setting through resource if you have an IEP, if you're an ELL student, English language learners through Ms. Danielowitz and Mr. Varela Melara, or in student success through myself or through Ms. Diamond. If you are an English language learner or a student with an IEP who has made arrangements to write your exams in the library, please report directly to the library well before the bell. Do not go to class first. Attendance will be taken and your exam will already be in the library. Please bring all books and required materials with you. If you are writing in student success, please report directly to student success before 810 with any textbooks and required materials before the bell. Some students will be writing their exams in class and will be escorted to the library afterwards for extra time if you are entitled to that accommodation. Please see your resource teacher, your ELL support teacher, or your student success teacher if you have any questions about exams. This next message is for all students who are writing exams. Please bring all required materials with you, such as pens, pencils, calculators, etc. We cannot guarantee that we will have these materials available for you especially calculators. So please make arrangements to get or borrow a calculator or any other materials because you don't want to be stuck without one. And don't forget to hand in any textbooks to avoid outstanding account fees. If you need any assistance with studying or getting organized, please stop by Student Success for tips. You can also access tips on the Prefect Students Helping Students LMS page. Thank you and good luck with your exams. Hi STM, my name is Brianna. This is a stressful time, so here are some tips for exam stress. First is start early. Begin your preparation well in advance to avoid last minute cramming. This allows for a more systematic and relaxed study routine. Second, develop a study schedule. Develop a realis realistic study schedule that includes breaks. This helps prevent burnout and allows for a better retention of information. Third, Break tasks into th smaller steps. Divide your study material into smaller, manage manageable tasks. Completing smaller tasks provides a sense of accomplishment and reduces stress. Fourth, use past papers and mock exams. Practice with past, past exam papers or take mock exams to familiarize yourself with the exam format and improve time management skills. Fifth, set realistic goals. Establish achievable goals for each study session. Celebrate small victories to boost your confidence. Six, practice mindfulness. Incorporate mindfulness and relaxation exercises into your routine, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga. These techniques can help calm your mind and reduce anxiety. Seven, or additional tips. So get enough restful sleep before the exam. Lack of sleep can impair cognitive function and increase stress levels. Maintain a balanced diet with nutritious food to fuel your body and brain. Avoid excessive caffeine and sugar as they can contribute to anxiety. Engage in regular physical activity to help reduce stress and improve overall well-being. Schedule breaks during your study sessions. Short breaks can help refresh your mind and prevent mental fatigue. Plan rewards for yourself after completing study sessions or achieves, achieving certain goals. This can provide motivation and make the studying process more enjoyable. Thanks, SDM. Good afternoon, STM. My name is Kiara, and here are your announcements for today. Bref Breakfast Cup will run on Wednesday this week and will not be available during exams. Come grab a healthy snack on Wednesday from 7.45 to 8 a.m. After a short break during exams, we will be back next semester every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks from Ms. Tillotson and Ms. Bernals. On February 28th, there is an opportunity for students in grades 9, 10, and 11 to write the Waterloo Math Contest. You can register for the contest by paying for it on School Cash Online. The contest costs $6.50 and must be paid by February 9th. Please see Ms. Shirelli if you have any questions. Due to various scheduling issues, the Math Club meeting planned for this week has been cancelled. Math Club will resume during the beginning of Semester 2 and new members will be welcome. Students with any questions should see Mr. Castellani. This announcement is for all students with an IEP. Please check your school, e school email for important exam information from your resource teachers. And now for your sports. Last night, your junior boys basketball team earned their ninth win of the season against ACMT, 70-47. to 
It was a total team effort. Marcus Perry was a force on the glass and came up with two big steals and baskets. Martin Cashwall also chipped in with two big blocks. Your junior knights remain tied for first with BR and are back in action today at 3.30 against Bishop Tonus. It's nighttime. Congratulations to our novice girls volleyball team and their win against ACMT. We wish them luck at their away game today against BT. A reminder for all players that you'll be dismissed at 2 p.m. Please be ready on time. Thanks from your coaches, Ms. Delotson and Ms. Barkley. Congratulations to our junior girls volleyball team on pulling out a massive win against ACMT. The girls saved a lot of points coming back from a 24 to 22 in the third set to win at 26 to 24. They will return to action tonight against BT at 5.30. Please be there by five. Go Knights. Also, another announcement, indoor track practice will be canceled for today. Thanks, STM. Well, STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time now is 1.42, and remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to, to be, be a, a knight. knight.